Between all the stats and analytics, talking heads and headlines, there's always a story hidden right beneath the surface. Something that everybody knows, but nobody's really talking about. See, that's where I come in. My name is Kaz, and this is Kaz and Effect. Ah! <laughs> Damn! <sighs> Weather's getting nicer, flowers are starting to bloom, and that can only mean one thing. That means America's pastime is back to take center stage in the world of sports. Now, the NBA continues to surge in popularity, and the NFL, controversy notwithstanding, is still the king. But the MLB has been going through quite the identity crisis. Its competition committee has been tasked with what seems to be a fool's errand over the past few years. Make people who grew up with social media, instant gratification, and a severe lack of patience give a fuck about baseball. Now, for myself and many others like myself, baseball has become one of those things kind of like AOL chat rooms or 16-bit video games and Bill Cosby. Things that were really cool when you were younger, but now that you're older, it's a little, uh, you know. You know, thing. But baseball faces issues even deeper than that. You know, one of the biggest things that they got going for them is upholding the traditions of the baseball's past. You know, baseball has sacred traditions to uphold. And so that's one of their biggest challenges as well. It's real easy to tell Mike Trout to do more commercials and Bryce Harper to do bat flips after every home run. That's fine. The main issue is this. The game moves too slow. Requiring pitchers to a three batter minimum and speeding up the process of the game is easily, easily the best way to solve that problem because it drives up offense and we all know chicks dig the long ball. But to me, something a little bit more deeper than that as well. You know, as a youth, I had guys like Ken Griffey Jr. and Barry Bonds, David Justice, Derek Jeter, hell, even Deion Sanders and Bo Jackson. They made baseball look really cool. Now maybe, just maybe, because anytime I turn on baseball, there's not really a lot of people that look like me. And if you feel like that too, you're not alone. Because two years ago, Major League Baseball recorded a historical low of black people in their league. Nearly one third of every single 25 man MLB roster didn't have a single black guy in their league. So how does that compare to its contemporaries? Well, according to the Atlas.com, the NFL reported that 70% of its players were African American. And the NBA topped that with 80%. And with that ratio, it's... <laughs> Shit, even I'm getting bored reading all these numbers. But remember this number. Mike Trout of the Los Angeles Angels is set to make $430 million over the next decade. $430 million. Put it on. How can I get on? I need to know. With guaranteed contracts, way less concussions, and the ability to maintain somewhat of an amateur status while having a professional contract in the NCAA, it's really surprising that more kids haven't opted to play professional baseball. In an article printed in the Wall Street Journal in 2002, there was over 9 million kids between the ages of 7 and 17 playing youth baseball. In 2013, that number dropped nearly 41%, causing most youth leagues to either merge or completely vanish. You see, this made playing youth baseball into an entirely different economical issue, and it made America's pastime white as fuck. Is that tide gonna turn? Possibly. Now last year, Major League Baseball saw a small uptick in black players joining its lead. It raised from 7.1% to 7.8%, the biggest increase in six years. Now, will that be enough to have it eat into the American sports conscious and become America's pastime once again? Probably not, but if there's any time for young black athletes to join this league, take over, and make that motherfucking money, it's right now. The MLB's waiting for you. My name is Kaz, and this is Kaz and Effect.